Right, that's going to be Tensky and Rubino. And looking at the CT side, interesting enough, Zeus has brought out the Julies, and the rest of his team are on full armor vice here. So we are underway. Looking like Dignitas are going to be favoring the B bomb side. And yeah, they still have a Molotov in play as well on Rubino. So he initially smokes off the platform so they can get some real estate. Maybe that Molotov heading towards Chicken Coop. Oh, they don't oh, check yeah. the left hand side, and Zeus. Fortunately for Dignitas, got fully flashed, so he couldn't capitalize on that slight lapse in concentration. That being said, though, MSL and Kia B are going to just shift themselves onto the site, doing damage, guarding up on the platform. And we'll take two of them down. Gives his position away. He's been dinked. Surely no hope of clutching this round. If he can land the headshot, though, it would make things a little bit more interesting. It looks oh, like you. Dignitas playing very smart. They're just going to A instead. Getting out of there. Dignitas actually managed to headshot MSL there as well, but the KRB taking the risk. He's going to be staying there. Dignitas. Oh, there it is. He's got one HP. I thought he had a chance of taking him down there, but they managed to salvage around. Fast B play coming in from Dig there. Works out pretty nicely for them as they go 1 0 up here. Guardian coming in with that backstab. Could have been deadly. Manages to get two. Dink's one of the last players as well, but. Not quite enough to finish the round off. So there we go. Now they go 1-0 down here. They will be forced buying up into this round. Desert Eagles, CZs, and CZ has actually got a UMP here. It's interesting that Zeus went for the Julies. That was a, kind of a common trend in 2014, but we haven't really seen too many of those of recent times, but didn't really make it work out for him. There we go. Now a fast speed play coming in. Rubino opens it up, takes down Zeus. Can Edward reply? He does, but it's responded straight away. Guardian with that Deagle does catch a glimpse of MSL. MSL smart, doesn't go for the repeat, just waits for the smoke. And just like that, with the one being planted, Na'Vi want to save these weapons. They have a, a fair shot at round three. So they'll be backing away, conceding this round. Question for Dignitas, do you want to give chase? Because the weapons they picked up, they really like to take into round three as well. It's going to be difficult to find them. They know they've absolutely taken over this long area. So they've managed to save a CZ, Desert Eagle, and a UMP. They've got head armor, so it's definitely justified. Once you lose those first two frags, you haven't got kits, the bomb's been planted, and you haven't got positional control of the site. It's uh, much more safe, I'd say, just to take these guns into the next round and see what you can produce and see if you can make them work for you then. So pretty simple round there for Dignitas. Not much in tactical prowess to report. They just went up straight in rush B, a couple of flashbangs and made those entry frags work for them. So it should be a pretty comfortable round for them. Although they are going up against that UMP from C's. If we can do something with that, could get interesting. They've only got two AK-47s right now. Going up against two players of head armor, that could be problematic. Let's see how they approach it this time. I'm going to assume they're not going to rush B straight away. Looking like they may be opting to do that again, judging by where they're heading with the spawns. They're just going to go straight up B rush by the looks of things. They do have three SMGs too, which are pretty cheap. So if they just want to charge in with the SMGs taking point, it could work out for them. Line up for C's. Can't quite get the double. And does at least get one before falling down. But there is Config, the unsung hero for Dignitas. His use with the USP. Really no hope of getting anything done. And now it again falls on Guardian with his Deagle and Kevlar. Maybe looking for an exit frag here. I think that's three B rushes in a row we've seen yep. from Dignitas. And a fair play to them. No damage to report, really. It's going to be Guardian remaining here with the Desert Eagle. That's got a low HP player to find. That's MSL. He takes him down with the help of Kiabi as well. Yeah. I was about to say, he just got wrecked off his teammate's nade as he pushed through the doors. Guardian's down to 3 HP. He is. can't get anything done. At least he did take a player down with him, I guess. But again, it was an SMG. They traded out. They got the assault rifles. Easy rebuy for Dignitas. Here we go, Na'Vi. This is your chance. This is your shot. This is the big one. I don't think they have the money to actually get an AWP here. It's actually quite a weak buy coming from Na'Vi. Two Thamuses, no kits. They've got five smokes and one incendiary, but definitely on the back foot here. Big round for them as we enter number four here. Looking like Dignitas are changing their mentality. No B-Rush this time. They're actually going to be focusing towards our middle area. We talked about it before the game. Very good at dissecting this area and that taking the vision away from the CTs. And able to have many options from there. Seize is going to spot the first player as they go through. Guardian's challenging though. He gets the first frag. Seize goes down at the same time. It's actually Dignitas coming up on top on that exchange. Certainly is. As you say, the buy wasn't fantastic for Na'Vi. No defuse kits in this one. So they desperately want to stop this plant from coming down. Flamey just about surviving. Gets himself out of harm's way. Does deliver the fatal blow to Config. Three on three, bomb yet to be planted, but will be very shortly on the A site. Down it goes. And without the utility to really get back on this site, I mean, what's Na'Vi's play here? Do they just again tap out or do they go for broke? It seems like maybe going for broke as Zeus has picked himself up the kill. There's Rubino, and it's now it's a one versus one. Edward needs to get a move on. Rubino opens up. He goes for the spray, but can't get it done. 
Okay. And Narvi will get the round. Not 3v3, I'm thinking, okay, that they may just back off again and just save. Well, that's but... the thing, they had no kits. It looked like a difficult yep. situation for them. It has emphatic on their approach there, just pushing through the middle, equal exchange at the start, and then they get the man advantage, get the bomb down on the site. And Edward coming in massive for his team. A huge round for them. Not going to affect the Dignitas economy just yet after very clean anti-eco rounds. They do get five AKs and full utility as well going into number five, but this is a huge one for Navi. Definitely still precarious, going down to a 1v1. I mean, everyone had to rebuy there, apart from Edward, so not out of the woods just yet. If they were to lose this one, it could mean a double eco incoming. So let's see how Dignitas approach this round. Going with their A-sided approach once again, it's just going to be Rubino. He's known as the lurker on this map, especially holding that drop-down area and backstabbing from connector once his teammates have shown presence towards A. Yeah, Rubino plays this position time and time again. He seems to get away with it almost every time. His timing's impeccable when he actually comes yeah. in through the connector window there. Raw game sense on Rubino. Very good at reading the game. Now, as you mentioned before, Henry, this is an A-centric push from Dignitas. It may be slow and steady, but it's getting oh, Guardian. into interesting territory. Guardian, if he doesn't check his right-hand side, he is a dead man. Or is he? Have I spoke too soon? No, Config does get the better of him. But because he didn't get the clean kill, he had to go out in the open, and he mm. has traded off from C. So a decent little answer back from Na'Vi. Well, considering the utility on Na'Vi, that definitely still favors Dignitas in the 4-on-4. Four four. They have two smokes, well, actually three smokes remaining. So with a minute left on the clock, they still have a lot of options here. Na'Vi left with zero grenades whatsoever just got one kid as well so there's relying on raw firepower here and that's the reaction they needed to find something they needed some intel sees tries to find it he punishes him and that's all they had to do wait for a ct to make a mistake and now the rest of the terrorists are making their way into the b-bomb site he picks up one zeus doing what he can but it's not going to be enough edward the last player remaining does manage to take down rubino comes down to the two-on-one situation but he's on 12 hp you feel like this is a lost cause for edward going forward but looks like he's been trying do something with it. And he's called correctly that the bomb has gone to A and has just been he's confirmed on that fact. But as you say, he's solo, no defuse kit to save that AK-47. You did say before, not out of the woods. And well, the trees have come crumbling down for Narvi. They are going to have to eco in this next round. It's a nice way to put it, Menace. <laughs> Playing off my words, it works really well. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Well then. Edward will be saving the AK-47. And as I said before, the economy now is an absolute mess for Navi. They're only going to have $1,400 after winning that first gun round. Dignitas has got to have a huge advantage going forward. They managed to keep two players alive. Next round is almost a given. They'll win as they go up 4-1 here. Nice stuff from them. Just the, the economy for Navi there, just unable to hold them off. He saw seized. He had to do something. They, they lost out on the information after that exchange towards middle. He had to go out hunting and see what he could find. He got hunt, locked down by KLB, just hiding in the corner. They're just waiting for the mistake to be made. And now then, we go into round number six. Just Edward with the AK here. They have purchased a couple of CZs, a PT-50, and Zeus has the deagle. But I would assume this will be a much slower pace round for Dignitas. They know how much of a massive advantage they have going into round number six here. Just going to be holding back. You can see them just watching the top of the middle, seeing if they can spot any players facing from danger. It's not going to be much of a stack coming in from Navi here. Just going to be playing a 3-2 setup. Edward with that AK towards Long A, hoping he's read this correctly. It has been a heavy area of contention for Dignitas in their gun round, so hopefully he can pick one frag up here. He's in a position just to get one and fall back. Guardian's P250 close range could definitely be in with a shot, but getting a couple of quick fire frags. There's Nico who picked it up earlier on Long, I believe that was. A close range is devastating, going for the flash, but Edward gets caught with his pants down, and that is the lone assault rifle taken off the table for Na'Vi. Seized is there. Guardian as well will land himself a frag. Decent trade for Na'Vi again, but it's just nowhere near good enough to stop that plant from going down. And again, we're in a similar territory. Henry on a retake without defuse kits. And that's that got a whole lot worse. Should seal the deal. You're absolutely right. Zeus is the last man remaining. Kiabi will deal with him. Nice double from him to finish the round off. 5-1 in favor of Dignitas after winning that pistol. Losing the first gun round, they've come back in tremendous style here. Have a look at the money for Navi, it's still not been recovered. We talked about this being a double eco, and it certainly is here. CZs and P250s, you have to say this is going to be another round going in favor of Dignitas. Their T side has been kicked off in a fantastic fashion here. Round number seven coming in, and I can't really imagine what Navi have up their sleeve. They're going to do a five man stack towards the B side, but it's not going to amount to anything here, as once again Dignitas opting to go towards that A side of the map, waiting for any initial grenades to come towards middle. 
and the smoke goes down and here they are once again just flushing out the danger area getting towards the end of long eight edward trying to listen out but not really much he can do in this scenario if he can take one down with him that would be something rubino once again holding over towards the drop down area and he may find something here. you can see navi actually gonna be pushing in from a platform this could be tasty for Bino. He does spot one. Will he be able to get any frags for this? The instant call is going to come out, even though he's died. So now I'm expecting to see Dignitas try and answer back, actually. This is weird. They're going towards the danger. I thought they'd just charge onto you've, A. You spot two, two or three players, yeah. and you've heard footsteps like that. Exactly. Like, Guys, just get, in, get into A right now. This might be next level tactics, though, from Dignitas. Well, yeah, they assume the actually, rotation will go to A. Yeah, you look at the minimap. It's actually kind of sick. Because it's like mind gaming the mind games. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. So they're actually just be walking back into B. It's actually kind of perfect. They've got presence there towards A from two other players. Kiabi just throwing a smoke off towards Connector. This may work out perfectly for them, but they haven't committed just yet. 35 seconds remaining. Now the CTs, they're thinking about it. They're rotating back towards B. So Dignitas on two occasions, not striking at opportune moments there. And here we go. This will be at 25 seconds remaining. Now all the CTs are back towards B. Kiabi picks up the first frag, opens up the bomb site, but they are the CTs waiting for them now. Yeah, config could well be in with the frags. I say that he actually gets taken out straight away. And Navi are coming in a one versus one. AK plays AK. Here he does have the Kevlar advantage, but he's much lower on HP. Eight seconds comes okay. in and Zeus picks him off. Fantastic round. And I've got to say, Henry, will they be ruining that, that decision to play super slow? It was so there was so much apprehension there. Like we said, it's you know, oh okay, we see what they're doing here. They've, they've read the call. They're, now they're going to be rotating back towards A. Thought, okay, that's super smart. They've 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 read it very well and they've, they've, they've made the correct decision there but once again they, they, they question themselves and they're not sure whether to go into the bomb site or not they don't really leave themselves enough time it's a bit of a sloppy entrance to the site they get the first kill but then there's too many cts we've already read it right back and now you get their second round on the board here so that double eco actually paying off for them here guardian house picked up the awp now he is holding towards the danger zone to seeing if he can spot any terrorists towards the top of middle He's so far favoring towards drop down. They're seeing if they can work a pick here, but Navi in a more passive setup. Navi going to be flashing it as well. It's going to be Zeus. He has had trouble in the drop down area in previous games. Definitely when we saw him a star ladder as well against Fnatic. And still makes his entrance into the drop down zone now. And this frag is going to be huge. Flashbang comes in. It could be working out perfectly for them. There's the frag. Brings it down to the five and four. That was a bit awkward for Narvi. Seized was there helping Zeus out. You could see he pulled out a grenade and got caught. I feel like maybe he assumed that Seized would be there to hold him. I feel like that area has been a problem for yeah, Narvi really. in previous games before. It's, it's more of the same here. But there we go. It's just going to be Guardian remaining. And he actually legs the second player as well now. Comes down to 2 and one Picks up an AK-47. The bomb has been planted. Two frags to find. No kit on Guardian. Needs to act very quickly here. Certainly does. Molotov has connected. As we know, both players are very, very low. Guardian comes in, first frag has been landed. No defuse kit. Probably gonna tickle the bomb, see if he can draw out that last pesky terrorist. And he's on long course, goes for the peak. Guardian flicks across, lands the frag, and Narvi again, clutch out of the jaws of defeat. And these rounds are starting to stack up now. Sure, there's still going to be two rounds behind, but if Dignitas take those last two, they are in a commanding position at this point. Clutch after clutch, Guardian keeping the dream alive here. That was a big round for them. Coming down to the one-on-one -on -one after a three-on-one. -on -one. This first kill was great. And the fact he legged this player here, he didn't get the kill, sure, but he set himself up. It was the foundations for the clutch. And I feel like Config may have been overfacing there. Like he could just listen out for the footsteps from the player and upper platform. Then they can play together at that point and then work off the bomb. The fact he was facing on seven HP, that just seems suicidal to me. Wait till he gets to the, the bomb and he's touching it. Then you guys can pincer him together and make him feel uncomfortable. He's not going to go for a full defuse with two players alive. But there we go. Guardian outsmarts him on that occasion. They are going to be buying into this round. One player on a tech nine is be Rubino. MSL has a galil here. Big round in terms of the economy for both teams. Zeus able to pull himself back after that flash and relocation seems to be working out for him. Finally gets traded out. And again, it feels like we've been in this scenario so many times, Henry. Yes. Another 3v3 stacked over on the B side. Seized. He's going to be boosting his teammates. We can start to push long, get up around the back of Dignitas, try and catch them off guard. But Rubino, his spidey sense is tingling once again. He's got such a good read on this game. Oh dear, Guardian. Are they going to expect both players to be in long? Now is the question. Because if one of them peeks and gets fragged, Na'Vi may assume the second player is somewhere around Chicken Coop. And that could prove to be the fatal blow, a fatal mistake. Tenski is going to go for the peak right here, right now. There's the first frag, tries to trade off. 
With that second spray down, not gonna happen. Guardian in another clutch. Again, he doesn't have a kit. <laughs> and he doesn't have the AK-47 to help him this time either. And he decides that scurrying off is the best way forward, but he gets caught from behind courtesy of Tensky. And Dignitas bounced back with authority. Navi with the boost in the drop down. It seemed like the perfect play, but as you said, Rubino just reading the situation so well, picks up that first frag, and once again, Navi just not having the money to work with to clutch out these rounds, no kits. Once again, it's Guardian who comes in for the 1v2 and just doesn't have enough to work with to finish that round off. So it's going to be another eco coming in for Navi this time, and you can see Dignitas reading the situation well. They've got two Mac 10s here, allowing those players to jump in first and Awesome chaos here. It's a straight up B rush coming in once more, and it's actually going to work out very nicely for them. The CTs have no presence there whatsoever. They've got uh, Desert Eagles and P250s, and not a lot else, so nothing to save, nothing to gain here, really, as Dignitas are on the hunt. Yeah, just a perfect play from Dignitas, because typically they have been pretty slow. And you can see that Navi were looking for the information, just going for broke with their upgraded pistols. So Dignitas are like, screw it, we've got two Mac 10s, rush B. Even yeah. if we do come into confrontation, we'll still come out on top. So. For me, that's the perfect call, and they have been rewarded with the seventh round. The question now for Narvi is, can you take any players down with you? This is the thing. So far, the answer is no. MSL with that MAC-10 has farmed three players so far, just boosting his bankroll. He currently sat, sits on 3K after that round, so it's just going to be Flamey, the last man alive. He will be dealt with by Tenski as well. 7-3 in favour of Dignitas. Fantastic first half for them so far, and we're looking at the money for... Navi as well, a pause coming in, I think is probably a sensible time to do it. We're having a look at their cash, it's averaging about $3,500, and that's just not going to be enough for a worthwhile buy here. In previous meetups on Cobble, they need Guardian to have the AWP, he can be so influential with that weapon, even if it's just him with the AWP and the rest of the players on lesser weapons like Famuses and Pistols, he can make things happen. So far, he's only had the, the AWP once or twice, and it's been rounds where he's had the clutch and go huge, he hasn't been able to get that entry frag. And just guaranteed the round for them just yet. He hasn't been too mobile. So taking the pause here, you would assume it will be a quasi buy coming in potentially, like a 5-7 and uh, some body armor perhaps, and see what they can do. Zeus will be buying up the Desert Eagle. The Dignitas, they probably can justify keeping the Mac 10 here. Config is yet to upgrade. I think MSL get, did get taken down towards the end of that last round. So I think it'll be more the same for them. Keep things fast and loose, probably do another B split. Let's get in and uh, lock it down. Difficult game for Na'Vi so far. Oh, absolutely. And remember that it's 7-3, which is already bad enough, but two of those have been ridiculous clutches. That's true. Like so it's is, even is, more one-sided than it appears on, on face value. This is a very similar affair to what we saw last week at Starlighter, right? They, they, they had a very difficult CT half. It was Guardian was the only one who was getting them rounds, and it's more the same here. Edward did get one of the clutches, but Guardian won, winning that two-on-one -on -one was absolutely massive. And they they probably need, they can just get at least like five or six rounds. They're absolutely fine. Their T half is just as strong as Dignitas, if not stronger. So they just need to set themselves something realistic going forward to work with. But right now, three is not going to be enough. I think if they can get to five, they'll be absolutely fine. Certainly agree with that. At five, they're not dead and buried. Yeah, can they get, even get there? Because they've been struggling so damn much. I would say so. on this round, let's take the quasi, keep the money reasonably modest, and then we'll get the AWP back out and let's start moving around. Let's get Guardian set up in the back of B. Let's have him there just as the, the turrets work in that area. And let's try and have a heavier presence towards the A with the rifle. That seems to be, for me, that seems to be a logical solution just because you can have the AWP at the back and then we can deal with the A split. That, like that mid control I think it has to employ. No one seems to know how to lock them down as of yet. They seem to get it every single time against every team. Against Virtus Pro, that was true as well. So take the vision away from the CTs, push them back, and then they're just forcing them right back to the bomb site, getting to the end of long. And it's so difficult for the CTs to read the game at that point. You can't, it's not a map where you can just like push in to B tunnels like on Dust 2. You kind of have to take so many risks if you push into the uh, upper platform, etc. So here we go then. The pause is over and we're ready to go back into this. It's going to be CZs and Deagles for Navi, so they will be taking that quasi buy and config keeping the map 10 here. We enter round number 11. And it looks like there won't be anything too special coming from Navi just yet. Maybe a boost into drop down yet. So Guardian will be the one going up here. Very passive setup from Dignitas so far. Just waiting to see what they're up against. Spraying those mid doors and working out what is available. Seize is the end of long A here with the CZ in hand. He's got body armor as well. He's just trying to hold an off angle here. See if he can find something. Does spot one of the terrorists there, but just going to be falling back. It was terrible between his legs. Not really much he can do. It's going to be Rubino to open up the fragging, taking down Guardian. He was trying to push into the B-Halls there and going to get punished for it as well. 
Certainly. Well, I love that Dignitas did sit back, and as you say, it really was just a case of, okay, let's, let's figure out what we're against here. Exactly. Are we against a force player like for masses? Is there a scout in play? Is it going to be pistols? Again, it, it's so well played, and Na'Vi, you can't fault them for going pushing, because that's really the only way they get anything from this round, is if they can get the well, This is the thing, that they boosted Guardian up into drop down, and he waited for, what, 20, 25 seconds, and nothing was coming towards him. He thought, well, maybe I can catch the player. By surprise here, it's going to be Zeus trying more of the same. Does a lot of damage, needs to hit one more bullet, he does it. Brings it in to a four on four, but still heavy advantage in favor of Dignitas here. Flamey oh. actually chiming in as well, he takes down MSL. Just destroys him through mid. So, the majority, in fact, all of Dignitas are now forcing their way through mid and long, respectively. There's two players here, they may not catch on to this, but there's Tensky pushing through long, double spray down. And now Zeus, who started things off well for Na'Vi with 12 HP, is going to get picked off from Config. And so, that half-buy will afford a force buy now for Na'Vi. Yeah. Including a naught, but I don't think Guardian has any Kevlar behind that. Yeah, but he is completely naked right now, just an AWP, no utility whatsoever. But for a man of his stature, that's absolutely fine. Let's see what we can do. He will be changing his position. This time he will be going towards B. So I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for the, aggress the aggressive pick at the start of the round. Going to the platform, seeing if he can find anything, and then going back to more of a passive setup then. But here we go. We enter round number 12. Dignitas are favoring the B side of the map this time. Not going to be rushing it straight up, but there is Guardian. They've changed their mentality slightly, and here comes the boost onto platform. As you called it, Henry, going for the aggressive peak. He is known and feared this style of orping. And very rarely misses. One, is, one of the reasons why he is one, if not the best orp in the world right now. I would say he's the best. Yeah. By, by some margins, I would say. But uh, most consistent, for sure. Yeah. Now, if someone peeks that, they are almost guaranteed to be a dead man. And of course, as we big up Guardian, he misses. I think I heard an orp shot ring out there. But it was likely just a shoulder peak. So that oh, does well, allow yeah. Edward to push in. But he gets picked off, and that's a really significant frag for Dignitas. I like their setup before when Guardian was covering him when he was by the boxes. They should have played off that more, kept him in that position, allowed Guardian to bait him in a little bit more. But he went into the push with no real intel there. And now they're in a five and four, a real opportune moment for Dignitas to strike there. But Guardian steps up. He does get seized in return, though. You can see Zeus now trying to make something happen here. Everyone from Navi just holding on for dear life. And Zeus will be pushing into the B halls. He's by himself, needs to make something happen here, but it's not. As MSL does punish him, three on two now. Guardian still alive with Flamey. Oh, as I say that, he gets taken down as well. It's a little bit of a mess for Navi so far. Just trying to make things happen. One on, lots of one-on-one -on -one situations. Not actually getting themselves into advantageous scenarios here. Now it's a three on one. Guardian, no kit, no grenades, no armor. Just his AWP in hand. Just to go back to that moment, I actually liked their setup before. So we had Guardian boosted up, Edmund managed to get his way behind that boxes there, and it's just like, well, that actually works. So he can bait in a shot, even if Guardian misses, he's there to get the refrag. And they won't, probably won't be expecting him to be there, but Dignitas really are running away with this one. That's four rounds in a row as well. Guardian just holding this drop down area and seeing what he can do. Again, I think it was maybe a case of Na'Vi getting in their own heads there and being their own worst enemies because they did lack utility. And as a result, went for that information. That's ultimately what got them in this trouble to start with. So, yeah, I, I guess that when you when you got such a weak buy, you probably yeah. you're trying to make things happen. You're trying to mix it up and surprise the enemy. Trying to just get that first frag to give the team confidence you can actually win the round. But when this one player just runs into B halls, gets punished like that, if anything, that's demoralising. So then, Dignitas continue the win streak here, four in a row, and this is dire straits now for Navi. They have saved the AWP. But as I say time and time again, when Guardian has that weapon, it doesn't really matter what the rest of his team have. He can make things happen. He can pull things out the hat, left, right, and center. This time he'll be favoring towards long A, and that could be a problem because once again, Dignitas has looking like they're favoring the B site. Will this be another straight up rush coming in? I think they've called the economic situation to perfection once again. And sometimes against Guardian's orb, if you just all charge him, he can't kill all of you at the same time. Maybe the idea here is just to take him, neutralize his uh, authority in this round away. But they still haven't managed to get on the site just yet. Flamey on the corner is going to find himself killed very quickly. A Guardian has made moves in. There's the first frag, and he's in a good enough position. If he'd have landed that shot, things would have gone horribly wrong for Dignitas. They still could, in fairness. It's a two on two. And Guardian's landed a second one. How is he still alive? Rubino has a huge HP advantage, not for too much longer. He's down to eight. Here comes the flashbang. That allows Rubino 
to have that quick peek first off. Another one goes in. Guardian does not have the kit, so he's going to keep in mind that time itself is an enemy. And he needs to battle against it. He catches Rubino in the back and clutches. How? Three kills again, I told you, Metas. When he has the orb, it's always on the cards they can win the round. He's helped out by Edward this time, but this is just so common for their CT side on Cobalt. It seems like the only rounds they actually win are not to nice gun rounds and playing off to get with each other it's just this man right here stepping up and winning ridiculous rounds close range awp work there and finishing it off we have the p2000 this is it they need to grind out these rounds get to that magic number five and they should be okay this time though they have got a decent bite guardian still on the orb four rifles to join him this time they have got kits and some grenades as well so hopefully we can close this one out dignitas are a little bit but affected going forward. They don't have such a strong buy as they were relying on before. <laughs> Guardian trying to jump up there. Missed a couple of times. Flame is in a good position. Gets the first kill cleanly. And that does instantly force the T's to rethink their strategy in this round. Instead, yeah. they're going to be pushing up long instead, seeing if they could catch him unawares. But now be too quick to retaliate and react and just go back to their own site. You know, they got the opening pick. They've got utility this round. This is Albeit fair. not too much, but they don't have to force anything now. We haven't seen this opening pick from Navi and have his man advantage in quite some time. So the question is, are they going to throw it away? Flamey, his long area, just patrolling it. Get him incendiary. Grenade it off and see what he can do here. Time ticking away for Dig. Have got control of middle in danger here, but they haven't got towards the end of long A just yet. Are oh, they going to be... Oh, this is interesting. Seize has got their... Backing up Flamey as well. Oh, seized. Spare. Oh, I thought he's about to get that kill, which again would have been brutal for Dignitas. But still, heavy damage inflicted on Rubino and Config. They do have a three on two. Now a two on two. When Zeus up in the balcony, it's going to make them think twice. He's trying to buy up enough time for Guardian to get into close enough proximity. May even concede this bomb plant. No, he's just going in for broke. My goodness, Yus, are you gonna pull off this round pretty much by yourself? No, Rubino's here, and we're gonna have Great. the one versus one, and Guardian bests him for a second consecutive time. What a little bit messy there towards long A. It seemed like Seize was just isolated by himself. I thought they had more synergy going on there. I thought they were playing off each other and using the smoke, hiding behind it. Zeus is stepping up pretty massively there, picked up two frags, and once again, it's Guardian to seal the deal. He's currently sat on 15 frags. The closest player to him on his team was Edward of eight, so... Jeez. The storyline continues. Carry bags, Guardian. Final round here. And once again, Dignitas will be favoring towards that beat site. Interesting to see where they go for more of a tactical execute here. Try and do the wall of smokes and lock out Guardian. But he's going to be waiting on that upper platform. Going to be going for the face now. He has got a gap to work with. Zeus gets the first pick here. Guardian oh! with a double kill. <laughs> there it is. We've got it. Densky, final player remaining. And that's what we expect. Get it's not wrecked. over just yet. Densky. He's going to be burning alive, though. And what a performance. Textbook Guardian half there, responsible for so many of their rounds. They managed to get the six, and I feel like that's just enough for them to work with. And here it is on your screen once again. Always a pleasure. Oh. These moments happen. Rip in wrecked, Dignitas. They are still on nine rounds. They win the pistol. They are away to the races, but as you said, Na'Vi's T-side is very potent indeed. Absolutely. Not to be taken lightly. This is when normally the rest of the team wake up and they start working together, and uh, you'll see them slowly catch up with Guardian. He's actually normally one of the quieter players on the T-side. Like, they have a rely on their rifles heavy on this side, but let's see how the pistol goes down. We'll have a look at the T-by coming in. So far, we've got one raid boss in Flamey, and uh, Zeus and Seize with the armor. Guardian and Edward are the utility players this time. We've got a Molotov, two flashbangs, and a smoke and they will be heading towards the B side of the map as well. So potentially a B split coming in here, going between drop down and upper platform. Could smoke off chicken coop or potentially Molotov. Let's see where they decide to go. That is the question. Obviously set up for the B side, but just that one little bit of information could change everything. Maybe faking this out. Nope, it is going to be the fast push. Zeus is going to come through with Flamey on drop. Zeus opens up with the two first kills. Trades out for the USP. Uses it against the counter-terrorists. And now Flamey goes in for his own frag. As cool as you like from Na'Vi. Bomb down. No hope for Dignitas. And this was a big round for Na'Vi. Are they going to take it cleanly as well? Seize this. Open up on Takiyabi. Good luck to you, Tensky. Yeah, not really many options from here. 
if he can get a couple of kills and get some money out of this, that would be great. But they're aware of his position now, gonna be hunting him down. Here comes the first exchange. Edward does get dropped. Tensky still with quite a lot of HP. That's what I'm talking about. If he can just get some money in the bank from those kills, at least that's something. Navi coming to life now, winning the T pistol. We need to be very careful here. For Dignitas, I wouldn't like to see them force by into this round. I'd like to see them take a, a nice clean eco and maybe a couple of upgraded pistols and P250s. They've got this advantage. Let's not throw it away with the economic game. Let's make sure we have a nice, strong first gun round. Looks like they will be taking the advice. They're going to be getting just as it eagles and five sevens. No armor invested into this. They want to make sure they do this properly and not risk the rut that comes in. Seize with the sawn off shotgun. One of the only mounts you actually see that weapon come out, but it's very effective. Towards drop down and Tensky. Hello. He's been so brilliant with that deagle throughout this tournament and continues to trend here. Taking down Zeus towards long A there. And five on four in favor of Dignitas. The deagle can be such a, a cruel mistress at times. Really can. You have the full buying effect, just one bullet ends it all. Off a gun that costs just a fraction of the price. Lots of damage has been inflicted onto Na'Vi. That being said, Config is on death's bed as well at 6 HP. Na'Vi playing this slow. Definitely makes a lot of sense after conceding that first frag. Tensky's not done just yet. He will be pushing as well. He may be able to catch. Can he do it? It's going to be close. Doesn't land the shot, but does do a decent, decent bit of damage there. Now looks like the rest of Na'Vi are slowly edging towards B. Seizes the bomb, he's got other ideas. He's kind of feeling it out a little bit. Guardian challenging towards the drop-down room with that sawn off shotgun. Be nice if he could get control of that area and then they could go in for the A split perhaps. Flamey just trying to check out what's going on. And Seize and Edward do make their way towards long A. This next kill really does mean everything. Dignitas can pull this off. Then the floodgates could open, but it's not going to be the case. Flamey answers back and now suddenly Guardian, who's oh. occupied drop zone, is going to get destroyed from MSL. I felt like he was the favorite to pick that up. The rest of his team knows picking up the slack themselves. And again, we the tag team duos. Seize and Edward face MSL and Rubino. MSL spots Edward but can't get anything done. And that will leave the man Rubino with it all to do. Yeah. He's on the other side of the map, so maybe just thinking about saving this AK now. It was very close there. Edward just needed one bullet from that deagle to take him down, and Rubino will be saving here. Dignitas doing some incredible work there. They do take down three players from Navi. You can see nice shots exchanged on the server. And just an AK salvaged here. So it got a little bit hairy. Tensky finding a couple of frags there. He's been great with that pistol throughout this tournament. A real step up from him this event. Really impressed by him. But Navi do it. They managed to hold on just about. Guardian with a sawn off shotgun, causing a little bit of distraction towards B. While his teammates make their way in towards A and plant the bomb. So there we go. Looking towards the money at Dignitas. Just going to be trying to play off this AK 47 and not going to force into it. Just more Deagles again. And when they have that AK to back them up as well, maybe they can cause more damage here. Rubino's going to be the man wielding it this time. And he'll be heading towards the B side of the map. Yeah, no real point for Dignitas to, to force too early, as you were saying before. They had a round buffer coming into this half, so not desperation mode whatsoever just yet definitely not and maybe thinking about getting msl with that orp as soon as possible that could do uh, some pretty big things for dig on their ct side that being said again dig have picked up the first frag and it's gonna be guardian who goes down the talisman kirby as well what is happening what is here going on? why is there so many one-on-one -on -one situations yeah, why they're not sticking together and going in and executing you hold up for 45 seconds on these anti ecos You want to make sure you feel out where the stacks may lie. But Zeus coming to life. He does salvage it and bring it back to the three on three. Rubino config and KRB remaining. They do have the MAC 10 and an AK 47 as well. So the round definitely not over. Looks like Navi will be deciding to go towards the A side of the map here. But there is a snake in the grass. There's two CD players waiting for them as well. Edward going to be going first. UMP spray is on point. Very nearly 180 spins for a second frame. That would have been ridiculous. But again, surprise, surprise. Four players remain, two for each side. Config has the MAC-10. He's waiting for the cross. Especially against Armour, it's not going to do a great deal of work from that range. And Galil has been picked up in the meantime. Mm. Dignitas did stop the bomb up until 30 seconds and now has been planted. So again, that pressure is starting to mount. Still plenty of time, of course, with the recent changes to the bomb timer. Zeus close range the MP7, using it to perfection. Spins around. Easy kill in the end. And Dignitas now. All their saves have led to this point. 
Navi needs to be careful on those anti eco Some very questionable situations there. A lot of uh, over committing. But Zeus stepping up there with the MP7 to finish things off. So we have got the AWPs out for both teams. Guardian, of course, building it for Navi. And is going to be running it for Dignitas. He's going to be going towards danger as well. So potentially we'll have some action here. Gets the first shot, takes down Guardian as well. Great way to open the map. He's done his job now. The CTs can decide to fall back into more passive mentality. Taking down the talisman of Guardian. Fantastic work there from MSL. He's been dynamic throughout this whole tournament. Making picks happen for Dig. I've got to say, dynamic is the perfect word. Because he's been so fluid as well with his movements. It's been crazy. But that's the reason they save, right? And he gets the frag and suddenly... This is it. If they had a force port, he wouldn't have that orb. And they exactly. wouldn't have this situation going forward. CT has picked up the AWP here, but the CTs haven't fallen back to the bomb side just yet. They actually want to face this. It's a bait here towards Long A. Tensky picks up the first frag there. Flamey answering back, and he's going to be aware of the position of the second player as well. This next frag is absolutely vital. Where Tensky actually gets aware of his life. Oh, does he though? See, he's taking him down with the AWP. Three on three. Now they have a real chance taking over this bomb site. Kiabi rotating over. Flashbang goes over the APC. Going to be facing as well. Sprays bullets over towards Long A. Doesn't manage to land on you just yet, but there it is. Taking down two. Just going to be Siege remaining. Oh my god, what a round that was. Could have gone either way, but MSL opening things up with that AWP. Very impressive stuff. And they actually decided to stay towards Long A. It was a kind of the bait tactic with Tensky boosted up on the hay bales there. Does manage to answer back with one. Oh my goodness, Henry. You can see that the war of attrition on Na'Vi has now forced them into a really poor force buy. Because they've lost a couple of there. players here, there, and everywhere. Oh, relentless. They will be keep buying into this round. Three Tech Nines, two AK 47s to work with. Gonna be favoring towards the B side of the map. It's gonna be Zeus trying to show his hand towards middle here. Smoke down, throwing some flashes through. And I would assume this will be more of a methodical execution from Na'Vi coming in. They probably want to try and use the smoke grenades as much as they possibly can. Create that wall of smokes, flash over, and to try and force an uncomfortable situation for the CTs. Not a huge amount of utility for Dignitas, though, all things considered. Only five flashbangs, one of which was just utilized. If you have kits but lack smokes, lack HEs, incendiaries, if Narvi can get a couple of opening picks here, things look good, and that's exactly what they've done. Rubino's up on the boost. What can he get done? He's going to murder through on Seized. Tensky just beforehand did some work, but now it falls to him. He has certainly been a player that you'd like to bank on. But the fact he's just eaten damage and the bomb's been planted, even a player of his caliber on 17 for 12 can't get it done. Yeah, lovely, lovely play there from Navi. Just flashing out from upper platform towards the drop down zone. The players in the tech nine rush the area and take advantage there. It was a risky buy from Navi, but they've capitalized on it. Just going to be Tensky remaining now. He's going to be trying to save his M4 after losing those first three and winning that first gun round. This is, of course, the hard reset. If he can stay alive, that would be an asset at least. Oh, my God. Edward punishes him, and there it is. Navi are definitely in the driving seat going forward. Only $1,400 going into the bank accounts of Dignitas this round. You can see the money there. Very low indeed. They can't really justify much into this round. Maybe a couple of deagles. I'd like to see Tensky on one. There it is. He has purchased it. 10-10 is your scoreline on the first map decobble of this best of three semi-final. This is the map I thought Dignitas would have probably the, the greatest hope of getting a map off Na'Vi. Mm. And so far, that's definitely living up to expectations. But this is the kind of moment where Na'Vi could just take over the game. They could start to wrap those rounds back to back. And the early bravery of Dignitas could be completely neutralized. That being said, Rubino is the first to fall. And Edward makes short work of him. Much better approach from Navi this time. No one's going into situations by themselves. They're actually staying as a pack. People are watching the flanks as well. And you can see how that's paying off for them, not dropping a single frag this time. Just going to be Tensky remaining. And he is unable to find anything. But once again, as I say that, he gets the one dig onto Seize. Savage is an AK-47 as well. So that will do for him. The money still not in an amazing position. And Navi taking a pause. I assume this is technical at this stage. I think they've already had their tactical timeout. Yep. Almost certain it will be. Especially considering that the momentum is starting to go in their favor as well, it would make not a huge amount of sense to, to use a, a tactical this time. It looks like, oh, Tensky's even his position away. He's at least going to take down Edward with him. But he will not be saving any weapons going through into round 22. So then, current scoreline. It's going to be five plays one, and looking at the Dignity has money as well. They're currently settling about $3,000 average. And... 
I think we said in our ear, it is a technical, isn't that, isn't that what we said? <laughs> I thought our producer said, it's not a technical, it's a technical. I was oh, like, I see. What? <laughs> it's not a tactical, it's a technical. <laughs> okay, that really confused me there. It's okay. <laughs> I think this can be confusing sometimes, but there we go. It's going to be Dignitas pretty much an upper eco here. They've got 3k average cost of board. Tenski has got $4,900 there, so he could drop a couple of pistols if they wanted to, but... Navi coming to life here in the second half, only dropped the first gun round and they answered back with that Tech-9 and AK-47 by business as usual for them in their T-half. And Guardian, as I said before, he finished the first half on 17 frags. I said he's going to be quiet this half. He hasn't actually got a frag this half yet. So that goes to show you how his teammates really do step up on this T-half. He's the one leading the charge on the CT and actually making things happen, clutching and just getting everyone on his back. But it has to be said, his teammates do deliver on the T-side. He's been the first player to die a lot of times for an RV as well. Yes. It's typically the guy that That's the thing, yeah. First. You remember, like, in that first gun round, at least, MSL does pick him mm -hmm. towards middle. It just seems like he's a little... The sawn off as well. When he has the sawn off shotgun, he pushes in through drop zone. He gets taken and out. He's the player who's getting picked off in these key situations on the Antigos. He's the one running in by himself and getting a little bit carried away. But the scoreline currently 11-10. Should be going to 12-10, I would say. That's more than likely, seeing as Dignitas can't really justify anything into this round. So far they haven't purchased a thing. They've got silenced USPs and I'd assume Navi with Edward with the UMP they will be well aware of this situation. Now we're just waiting for a technical issue. Hopefully it'll be sorted very soon. It's always a little bit frustrating these moments come in at the most pinnacle times of the map. Well that's the thing isn't it? This is particularly frustrating for Na'Vi because this gives Dignitas now a chance to, to try and figure out what, what's been going wrong and how they can maybe fill in these gaps. Well, there's the bells. Yep, just apparently we're casting from a, a church right now. Well, their first gun round was good. I, I like that approach in them, like keeping... Oh, hello. Um, keeping <laughs> keeping their, their AWP dynamic, going for those first picks, facing towards long A, going towards danger. I'd like to see more of that from them. They need to be surprising now. They can't sit back and allow players to actually just have favourable situations. And you know, obviously, Guardian has been very quiet this half, and I'm sure he'll come to life very soon. The pause has been cancelled. We are underway. We enter round number 22, and those bits of Dignitas will not be purchasing a thing. P250s, Desert Eagles, and USP, not a single bit of utility as well. They will be going for a B stack here. Just going to be one player. MSL will be holding danger and is trying to listen out for footsteps. He needs to call over a rotation here. This would be an absolute nightmare for Navi to lose. Just need to keep to their fundamentals, sticking together as the Wolfpack. Making sure any frags that are lost are exchanged immediately. Looking like they will be actually going towards mid here. MSL completely flash. He should be dealt with momentarily. There it is. Flamey takes him down. And that should be signal for them to actually swarm onto the A. Well, the has been found out. And will be put down with ease from Conflicts. Now, there's going to be an AK traversing into the hands of Dignitas. Question now remains, do they want to try the retake or do they just want to play Operation Save the AK? I'd say Save the AK. The money is still a little bit of a problem for them. They have got Tenski, 4,500. They have an AK. It definitely would help boost the confidence a little bit. Two players who have nothing at all definitely can justify trying to find another one. There it is. Tenski does take down Edward. Could potentially find a second one. It's here as well. He double dinks Zeus. And he's only got the UMP. I feel like he's going to find this kill as well. He actually doesn't. And just configuring Kiabi. Remain now. Three on two. Oh, lovely shot there from Kiabi. What is even going on right Take now? Take down Zeus there. Fair enough, Dig will lose this round, but three kills in this kind of setup and potentially saving two weapons? Even I guess the rounds they're losing, they're hurting now. I guess like, Navi just wanted to make sure they got that AK back, but it's proven to be a little bit of a blunder. Flamey may go down as well. As well. He doesn't. Flamey does capitalize. 12 plays 10 now. Navi bouncing back here on the second half. Not the best first half for them, but looking much stronger now. We'll have a look at the money for Dignitas. MSL once again with that AWP. We would assume he's going to keep things mobile and see what he can do. Looking like he's going to be favoring towards the B side of the map this time. Actually, will be opting to go down towards middle. Not going to be going danger this time. Going to be smoking himself off towards mid and using that to peek over and see if he can find any terrorists towards the top of middle there. Find something. Similar kind of play to when MSL got the opening kill onto Guardian just a few rounds ago after the double save. This time, though, he's not going to rinse and repeat just yet. Holding a different angle as well, must be said. There we go. Patience is indeed a virtue. The Guardian did go down, but MSL took heavy damage in the process. So Na'Vi still could very well pull this round back. Lots of time to play with. Bomb has been dropped, but it's 
easily salvageable from Na'Vi. Yeah, it's almost a mirror of the first gun round here. Guardian's the first player to be dropped. Five and four in favor of Dignitas. You can see Flamey just trying to gain control of the drop-down area. He's going to use the Molotov to help him out. He's going to be backing off, though. Takes substantial damage. It goes down to 11 HP. This is not a favorable duel for MC. He's taking down MSL on the other side of the map. Monfig, oh, does manage to take down Flamey. And then Zeus getting Tenski as well. It's a three-on-three -three situation. Zeus and C's very low indeed, though. KRB waiting towards the top of middle. Should be able to capitalize this situation. It's a really nice position from him. Here be drops out the bomb and it gets even further away from C's. He's got the <laughs> all actually packs onto the nade. Unfortunate for him. At Dignitas, all credit. Looks like they could have started to slip away into obscurity, into the abyss. But they just about hold on for dear life. Well, they, now they, they've got a solid buy up. Yeah, they took a couple of ecos on the chin there, but they realized play the bigger percentage game and see what you can do with that AWP and they're finding that pick consistently on Guardian but they're not out the woods just yet because Navi have got another full buy going forward. Navi going to be favoring towards the A side of the map here this time. Guardian still yet to frag in this half. After what, eight rounds I think it's been, maybe nine. As we go forward now, they're going to be boosting for middle. They're actually not going to be smoking it off but Edward finding the first kill onto Tenski. MSL, a rare miss from him as they take the man at advantage now. Guardian peering on up, trying to convert a pixel into a headshot. Edwards doing the damage this time around. Kirby on the site. The kind of play you want in these clutch tent situations. Guardian finally opens his account. An emphatic style as well. Takes the head clean off the shoulders of Kirby. Now Config back against the wall, quite literally trying to clutch this one. First kill comes down, his position is given away. And Na'Vi. Answer right back in kind. Two round lead is re established. This is the thing as soon as Dignitas win a single round, they get punished straight away and they're back into an eco. And what a horrible time it is to happen. Navi now in touching distance of map point. This round will take them to number 14. And just a very simple play from them there. Just three players through middle. They don't even smoke off towards uh, the upper ramp. They're just, just running straight through, finding the frags. Edward opens it up. And then burst onto the bomb from there. Looking like they'll just be going in for a simple B play here. They're aware of the economic situation for the CTs. And they spotted the first player. Flashbangs coming in. And here comes the squeeze onto the site. Config with that eagle could prove to be instrumental for his team. Rabino has the 5 7, gets the drop onto Edward. And therein lays the issue. If you don't make those shots land, if you don't make them count, you will not live to regret it. Seize is in as well. Surely MSL can't get this. He's going to get a charge at him. Bayonet charge. Come at me, bro. Yeah, fired all 12 bullets there. Managed to give him down to 3 HP, but went in for the knife instead. 14 plays 11 now. Navi very close indeed, and this is an opportunity for them to take it to map point. Dignitas really don't have much to work with. Definitely won't be getting the AWP this round, and he's been instrumental, MSL, in getting them these gun rounds. So far, the scoreline is 8-2 on the terrorist side. We said Navi would be capitalizing as soon as they got on the terrorist side, and that has rung true. Dignitas indeed. As we enter round number 26 here, won't be able to rely on that first pick of the round. MSL have to play a much more passive game here. And looking like Navi once again going for the drop down control. CT's got three players towards that. KRB knows what's coming, trying to hold them off as best he can. They've opted to not pick anyone in the drop down room whatsoever to see if they can just play off the passive setup. It's telling what Navi were thinking about in the early stages. They threw a grenade over on the off chance that Dignitas were going for a boost. Maybe calling that the economy wouldn't be great and they'd be forced into a desperation play. They did do a little bit of damage to Kirby. You can see 12 in total. Rabino's gonna fall. Edward also chimes in. Great opening picks from Na'Vi. Kirby is here. And he, oh, every time he's in these kind of positions, you're expecting him to get at least two kills before he dies. Not on this occasion, just the one falls with him. Tenski with the FAMAS. Trying to spray out through the doors. And MSL. Has a huge task ahead of him. He's going to get caught as he turns his back to Zeus. Throats out the bolt. MSL will ride the lightning. And now Tenski's in a one versus two. 46 HP. Zeus is close by. But judging from the positions of Na'Vi, yeah. there's just no hope for Tenski to get well, this done. This is the thing. He has no kit here. He's got a Famous. He's low HP. And options are very limited indeed. Dignity. Navi, sorry, will be taking themselves onto map point here. 15 plays, 11. Very nice execute from them there. You saw a full wall of smoke coming in onto the bomb site, exploiting the Dignitas would have low money there, knowing that the force spy would be coming in, unable to hold it off. And Dignitas 
unable to stop the onslaught from Naby here. And now dire straits have come in. 15-11, no money to play with. Max Sevens, Famuses, Pistols, buying up everything they can after such a strong first half. You have to feel bad for Dignitas here. Only able to get to two, two gun rounds, nothing yeah. else. Didn't capitalize. Went from 9-3 to 15-11. And just goes to show how dominant this T-side performance has been from Navi. And this buy up Henry, it is bargain bucket at best. Mag 7 for Mass, couple of upgraded pistols. That's that's literally it. Need, someone needs to go absolutely huge. You can see them boosting KRB up in the drop down, seeing what he can do with this, but it's not going to matter as Edward gets the first kill. Onto MSL, five on four now, and they're actually going to be favoring towards the A bomb side as well. So CT's desperately trying to rotate here. They've only got the pistol players rotating over. I'm not sure how they're going to find this frag, but somehow Rubino does do decent damage with the 5 7, takes down Zeus, sees replies onto Kiabi. Rubino still just dancing around his APC area, trying to find anything he can. He finds the second kill as well, doing everything possible to keep the dream alive, but it's not going to be enough. He comes up with a two on one. Now a one on one as Config from the fence area has control of the bomb, sees on very low HP as well. Is this enough to hold them in and keep them in the tournament? Seizes one bullet away from death. A gust of wind would take him down at this point, and Config Does uses it. the close angle and brings back at least one of these map points to Dignitas, but their economy wasn't great at the start of this round. They lost four players. It will consistently be an issue from here on out for them. Absolutely. After that, going down to the one-on-one, -on -one, it's still definitely going to be a difficult situation. MSL does have the AWP, though, so they do need three rounds in a row to take it to overtime. I wouldn't say it's outside the realms of possibility just yet. The Sneeter making sure MSL is getting those consistent picks he's been so renowned for. Well, it looks like a very fast round coming in from Navi. No messing around this time. Straight through the smoke. Absolutely, just gone for the ruthless aggression. Edwards by himself and out in isolation, but he's not peeking too much. The flash is going to be thrown out. This could buy up the rest of the teaser. Chance to now force through. The thing is, though, Navi have kind of telegraphed this push. You can see Config goes through the smoke again. Reminiscent of an next play. He gets the spray down. He's going to land enough bullets to take down two players. And a bomb has been dropped in B-Long. He's hungry for more kills. Runs out of bullets. But Navi have such a oh. difficult situation ahead of them, and it's all down to Config's brilliance. That was such a huge play by him, getting through the smoke there. It was such a beautiful play by Navi as well. That tactic they employ, it's so fast, it's so difficult to hold against. Full smokes come down, flashes are everywhere, and in all the chaos there, Config pushes through, picks up two frags on the return as well. And it's just going to be Edward remaining here, AK-47 and the bomb in hand. 45 seconds to play over as well. But the problem is he's got Tensky waiting for him, who has heard the footsteps. We'll call in the rotation for his teammates as well. I assumed he heard the footsteps. It looked like they were right next to each other. It looks like maybe not. Ooh, and ju just about gets past undetected. This could be the positions here, Henry. This could turn into a couple of 1v1s potentially for, C uh, for Edward. Down. There it is. But it doesn't matter because MSL is going to get him on the cross. So then your have salvaged two rounds. Two more to go. Well. They're going to be a step closer this time as well. Navi not having the cash to play with here. Going to be on the quasi by Tech Nines, Armor, and possibly some nades as well. This is actually looking like a real possibility. Just on your screen right now is that push through the smoke from Config. Massive plays from him. Let's get that around in the bag. There we go. Right I, the 29. I like about that, Henry, as well. He goes for the peak, he gets the frag, and instead of continually spraying and getting like overzealous and greedy, he backs away, relocates, and pushes again, which is uh -oh. absolutely ridiculous. But. We're thinking, okay, this is a gimme round for Dignitas. Uh -oh. Two players in quick succession have bit the dust. This is where it gets dangerous. Two pistol kills coming in for Navi, and they've got control of the bomb side as well. It's a full retake coming from the CTs. They still do have the weapon advantage. Config takes down Guardian, but Edward replies straight away with the Tech 9. It's an absolute bloodbath on the A bomb side. Just down to Rubino. Can he keep them in this map? It was such a guaranteed round. Just a quasi by to hold up against. Has got a kit. But not a chance in hell there. Zeus seals the deal with the AWP and Navi on the quasi bike. After such a grueling second half, it looked like Dignitas finally found some footing into it, but unfortunately for them, it wasn't meant to be. Disappointing second half, I'd say, from Dignitas. Only able to get one round before losing two or three in a row after that. Never really got going after such a successful Seaside campaign. And you highlighted as well, you said that.